All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Red Gallant Mon structure deck. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Levi here with the Digibros. Digibros! Today we have another exciting Digimon Japanese opening for you. This is the brand new Gallimon Red Structure Deck that just came out in Japan. And I cannot wait to get into this with you guys. There's a bunch of cool new cards that are coming out in here. A bunch of new cards, a bunch of reprints. There's an alternate art Gaia Force that comes in here. And there's some new promo cards that I believe are going to be staples in just about every single deck. But before we crack into the box guys, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more Digimon TCG related content content like i said my name is levi with the digibros let's get into the opening all right guys and here's the main event the reason you came to this video to see what was in the deck and uh yeah it's a it's a full deck it comes with a lot more hollows than your normal starter deck would so that's exciting so uh yeah let's get into it starting at the very top we do have our gg mon pretty good card comes with four copies of him his effect is uh, your turn, once per turn, when your post Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gains 2,000. So pretty good, go up into a Gallantmon, or destroy one of your opponent's Digimon in some way, gets plus 2,000, pretty good. And then we got, oh man, this guy looks awesome. This is our Monogermon, it's the alternate art version of him. Uh, I'm gonna have a picture of the original one up on the screen, I honestly think this one looks way better. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, I think I'm definitely gonna be running this Monogermon over the other one. All right, and then we got a new Agumon for all the Agumon fans out there. We got a new one, and uh, yeah, he's not bad. When attacking, uh, when a Digimon attacks the player, it gets plus 2,000. So it helps Red, you know, when you're going for those big security swings. Gives your Digimon an additional 2,000 when attacking the player. It's not as good because it's not, uh, you know, just a consistent 1,000 like the, the starter deck Agumon. But it's still pretty good, you know, that plus 2,000 when going for those big security swings. Uh, is really helpful and then we got our Gilmon and I'm not sure if you guys can tell here but this is a uh, yeah you can see that texture in the background he's definitely a, a, a new type of rarity we have it's still super rare but it's got this like textured checkered background and he's glossy and I, I think this just looks super awesome. I'm not sure if it's showing up super well on camera, but I love the way this guy looks. And he's got a super good effect. It basically says if your opponent has a level six or higher Digimon, you can warp from him straight into a Gallantmon for four. So that's actually really good. And then he has an inheritable during your turn, once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, you can trigger draw one. So you can warp from him into the Gallantmon from BT1, pop a monster, and then uh, yeah, you get the draw card. So pretty good, not bad at all. And then we just have four of the Biamon in here. You know, just a, a blocker, level three for red. It's their first one. The only downside is it cannot attack the player. All right, moving into our fours, we have the Groundmon. He seems to be just a regular, you know, just like the promo rarity. Uh, he's still pretty good. Uh, his inheritable is your turn once per turn when your Digimon is deleted, or when one of your opponent's Digimon is deleted, gain a memory. So yeah, if you have the line of like him, the Gilmon, go up into a Gallimon, pop something, you can potentially gain a memory and draw a card. So that's super good. And then we've got another card I was super excited for, the alternate art, Dark Tyranimon. I love the way this guy looks. I think he's super adorable. Look at his artwork. He's definitely going to be replacing the other Dark Tyranimon arts in our decks. I don't know how you guys feel about him, but I think he's super awesome. And then we got the new Security Geo Greymon. I think this guy is actually awesome, and I think security decks are going to be taking advantage of him. He's the same as all the other security Digimon when they're hidden security. At the end of the battle, you play him without playing his memory cost, and then when he's played, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 or less DP. So that is actually insane. When you hit it, you get a free Digimon, and then he comes out and he takes something with him. So that's awesome. Geo Greymon. All right, moving into our fives, we do have another alternate art. That's what I love about this deck. It comes with so many different alternate art versions of cards. We have the two Groundramon. I like this artwork a lot, even though he is a bit derpy. I think he matches the other cards like the Dark Tyranimon and the Monogermon. They seem a little more, you know, lighthearted and derpy, and I think that looks super cool. It's got kind of an old school Japanese vibe to it, which I like as well. So yeah, two of the Ground D Ramen. All right, and then we got our Rise Greymon. When played, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 or less DP. Though I do like this effect, I'm not sure if this will be played in competitive decks. So, uh, yeah. And then we got our War Growmon. Same promo rarity. I guess uh, the War Growmon and the Growmon aren't getting that cool new rarity like the, like the Gilmon did. But uh, he still looks really cool. 
His effect is when attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less, and then it's inheritable. Basically, uh, your turn, once per turn, when any of your opponent's Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So go open to Gallimon, pop something, give him security attack plus one. Super good. And then speaking of Gallimon, we got two of the new Gallimon in the awesome new rarity, just like the Gilmon. Guys, look how awesome he looks. He's got the, the the rays in the background. And even his shield has some hollow on it. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but it's got little 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 diamonds on there. Look at it go. He is super awesome. And he actually, actually has a really good effect. He has security attack plus one. And then when attacking, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 or less DP. But if you don't, he gains 3,000 attack for the turn. So at at the very worst, he has security attack plus one and 4,000 or uh, 14,000 DP. But at his best, he deletes one of your opponent's Digimon and still hits for security attack plus one. So this guy is super awesome. And I think red decks are going to consider running him instead of other cards like uh, maybe the, the Volcanics or maybe the, the starter deck War Greymons. Not the starter deck, but the BT1 War Greys that have security attack plus one. They are super good. But uh, yeah, as far as the three to evolve red level six goes i think he's super good and then moving on to our other level six we get in the promo rarity this is our shine Greymon. he has security attack plus one and piercing though i do think he looks super cool and has a super solid effect the fact that he is four to evolve makes me think he probably won't be played being that he does not have a win evolved effect so uh yeah he's a little slow but he is a good card and if you don't have some of the other more expensive red cards, he is definitely one you can play and get a lot of value out of. But that is all our Digimon. Moving into our option cards. We do have one Lightning Joust. Simple effect. Uh, give one of your Digimon plus 2,000 DP for the turn. And then if you have fewer security cards than your opponent, or equal to or fewer security cards than your opponent, it gets security attack plus one as well. So it's basically like any of those cards, the one... One cost options that give them plus 3,000, but this has added bonus of potentially giving it security attack plus one as well. Security effect adds it to the hand. Yeah, pretty solid card. And then we have Atomic Blaster, a card I'm actually pretty excited for because its effect states that you can delete any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP is 8,000 or less. So you can kill two 4,000 or less DP Digimon, two 4,000s, you can kill eight 1,000 DPs, you can kill uh, four 2,000 or less. So as long as it adds up to 8,000, you can kill that many Digimon. So I think that's super good and it's going to be super great against different Rookie Rush variants and, you know, even variants of green when they have a bunch of their smaller guys in the field to download. You can use this, clear a lot of them. It's not too expensive, it's five, so you're not giving your opponent a ton of memory and you could potentially just clear a lot of their Digimon and get a lot of value out of it. Its security effect adds it to his hand, unfortunately. It doesn't activate, but still super good. And then a card I know a lot of people are excited to get a reprint, Gaia Force in the new alternate art. I think this card looks absolutely amazing. You got War Greymon there just blasting and out. Look at him go. But yeah, this is the first time this has actually gotten a reprint well, I guess it's the second time. It got a reprint in the Tamer box, but those were actually really hard to pick up. So if you didn't get them, pre-order them back in November, uh, the chances are you're probably not going to be able to get them unless you're trying to spend the, the crazy amount of money that people are asking for for the alternate arts. But yeah, super awesome. And uh, yeah, Guy Force. If you want to alternate art, consider picking these up when they come out in English. And that is the deck, guys. And uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. You get a couple alternate arts, a couple new cards. I think that's super cool. But moving on to our promo cards, we have the Memory Boost cards. I am super excited about these. Uh, one big reason is because of how beautiful they are, guys. Look at that art. Look at that rarity. These cards are absolutely insane. Basically, all of these cards have the same effect. There's one for each color you know red blue yellow green purple and black basically when you play them they're three to play you can crack the top four cards of your deck and then add one digimon of that color to your hand and then it stays on the field and then any turn after this turn that you played it you can send it from the field to the trash to gain two memory and its security effect activates it so these cards are super broken i think they're going to be staples in just about every deck because it's a generic searcher and it gives you two memory so you've got a red one with a little Agumon on there. You got a blue one with a little Vimon on there. You got another Agumon on the yellow one. Super awesome looking cards. You got all Wormmon and Stingmon in the background there. 
look at them go these cards just look insane this rarity is next level i hope they keep doing cards like this and continue making textured cards because these just look absolutely awesome bam there's our purple one and yeah guys those are super insane i'm excited that uh these just come with them in the starter deck and you don't have to try to pull them so i think that was a super cool thing that they decided to do hopefully in english they'll do the exact same thing you know make these because i do believe these are going to be staples in just about every deck so the fact that they're making them easy to get where everybody can have access to them i think is super cool and uh yeah guys let's see moving on to the last thing that was featured in this i just wanted to get some better shots of them we got our uh little memory gauge this thing looks awesome you got the gallantmon and the gilmon it's the same kind of metallic material as the war graymon and the metal guru one so they are super cool super high quality and i think you guys are gonna like these a lot but all right guys that's the deck you get a bunch of super cool reprints like the guy force and alternate art you get the new gallantmon you get the new or gray line the monodramon alternate art the dark tyranimon alternate art you get the blocker you get the the gilmon the monodramon alternate art i think i already said that but yeah guys there's a lot of cool awesome cards and honestly these are worth the value and i hope when they come out in english they do them the exact same way with releasing these in them because i think just giving everybody easy access to staples is really important and keeping the game easy and fun for people to play. So I think that's a super cool thing and I hope they continue to do that in English. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was the Gallantmon Red Japanese Structure Deck that just came out. There's some super awesome cards in there. So I hope when it comes out in English, it can be just as awesome as it was as the one we just opened in Japan. So. I'm excited guys. I'm excited for the future of Digimon. I think the new delay effect is a cool new direction that they're starting to take certain cards. So I'm interested to see where things go from here. But anyways guys, like I said before, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more Digimon TCG related content. My name is Levo with the Digibos. See you next time.